Today we're ranking the top 10 class one bike paths across Orange County for 2020. I live in Orange County myself, so this video breaks down the bike paths that I have regular experience using. Some people may be surprised by this, but with a very extensive and ever expanding 1000 plus mile bikeway network already in place, Orange County is the most bike friendly region across Southern California. In recent years, the county has put a lot of effort into promoting bike mobility and expansion, making it very easy to navigate by bike for all riding styles. The entire 1000 plus mile network includes a combination of crisscrossing bike lanes and mountain bike trails. But to simplify things, this video will just focus on class 1 paved paths. When putting together this video, I looked at overall mileage, elevation gains, accessibility, amenities, and safety to determine its ranking. Okay, let's jump into it. Here's what I believe are Orange County's top 10 class 1 bike paths for 2020. Number 10, the Santiago Creek Bikeway. The Santiago Creek Bikeway is one of Orange County's newest. The bike path is woven right through the city of Orange, and continues through the heart of Santa Ana. As you ride from the north, you will start alongside the streets of the massive Santiago Creek Water Basin. Further south on the journey, you will enter the wide open Santiago Creek Waterbed and eventually enter Hart Park in Orange, which has an abundance of open space, greenery, sports fields, and amenities for families. Beyond that, as you ride further south into Santa Ana, you will reach Santiago Park. Here you can check out the Nature Reserve, Education Center, or the adjacent archery range. As you reach the end of this path, you will end up at the entrance of the All Ages Discovery Science Center, which is a can't-miss building if you've ever driven on the 5 freeway through Santa Ana. Additionally, the Bowers Museum, one of Orange County's premier museums is only a half mile journey south from there, a must visit place along the bike path. It's also worth noting that at the start of this path in Orange, if you bring your mountain bike, you can choose to ride north on a dirt trail for an additional two miles to the stunning Santiago Oaks Park in Weir Canyon. This is a great option for scenic views and a challenging workout. The drawbacks to this path include the fact that it's on its own and doesn't directly connect to any other bike path in the area, namely the Santa Ana River Bikeway. Also, there are some small homeless encampments on the south end of this path under the 22 freeway. After leaving Hart Park, if you choose to ride past the encampments, use common sense and you won't encounter any problems here. However, because of those drawbacks, this path stands at number 10 when it could have easily ranked in the top six. Number nine, the Shady Canyon Turtle Rock Loop. Starting first with the Shady Canyon Bike Trail. This path is one of the few routes in Orange County that provides a mixed mode of riding, scenic views, gradual inclines, and an above average riding distance of 4.6 miles. Starting from the south near the 73 freeway and riding towards the 405 freeway to the north, you will wind through the streets along Shady Canyon Drive to the Southern Orange County Canyons. If you are riding a mountain bike along this path, and want to get closer to the canyons, the bike path has optional one-way dirt trails for mountain bikes of moderate inclines, gifting anyone riding with stunning views of both Shady and Boomer Canyons. This is a great option if you have the time and choose to challenge yourself before jumping back on the paved path. The Turtle Rock Trail. If you cut your ride short on the Shady Canyon Trail, this optional three-mile winding bike path rides along streets, weaves in between various friendly community parks and into the Turtle Rock Preserve, which is a natural open space that'll reintroduce you to the surrounding nature. After you pass through the preserve, you will end up much further west than at the start of the Shady Canyon Trail, but you will be able to reconnect with it for a full return via the University Trail on a class one path without ever leaving your ride. Note, when riding this full loop, signage within the Turtle Rock area is almost non-existent, so checking in with Google Maps is a must. These two bike paths together make for a safe, calm, and casual way to commute around South Irvine and back for a great day trip. Number 8. The Jeffrey Open Space Trail provides everything you'd expect from an Irvine bike path and more. It's lined with trees, greenery, has plenty of park amenities, and is one of the overall safest bike paths in Orange County 
for families. Usually when riding alongside a major street for too long, it is normally quite uncomfortable because of the noise and frequent stops that slow your momentum. Well, the Jeffrey Open Space eliminates that by taking the road and one of the busiest cities in OC out of sight and puts you in a green belt oasis. As soon as you enter the path, you can hear the birds around you. There are wide open spaces that include tunnels to safely navigate under major cross streets and bridges to take you over them. One downfall is that the path is relatively short at only 2.3 miles, but it makes up for the short distance by acting as a gateway to three other major bike routes that didn't make the list, including the Hicks Canyon, Venta Spur, and Cypress Village Trail, all of which can double or triple your mileage and connect you to the greater Irvine Bikeway Network to safely extend your ride even further. For all these reasons, this is why the Jeffrey Open Space Trail has climbed to the number eight spot. Number seven, the San Juan and Trabuco Creek trails. Here we have another two for one. Starting at two different points in San Juan, both bike paths ultimately join together on the same route traveling south. Starting in downtown San Juan Capistrano, you will find an endless array of cafes, tea shops, and boutique stores nestled around the Amtrak Metrolink station in an almost hidden marketplace. And the downtown parking structure here has ample parking, making it the best place to begin your ride. The beautiful San Juan Capistrano Mission is also here, and it's an iconic stop in San Juan for anyone interested in the area's shared history. As you begin your ride, leaving downtown, with the Saddleback Mountains as your backdrop, you will enter the Trabuco Creek Bike Trail and pass a number of family-friendly parks and open spaces before crisscrossing the man-made riverbed. Here, you will join the San Juan Creek Trail on a short, combined three and a half mile route. You will eventually be rewarded for your effort by spilling out into the beautiful Dana Point Harbor. This combined bike path is one of just two class one routes in Orange County that will take you directly from an inland Orange County city to the sand and back. It's worth noting that there are plenty of options to extend your ride north of San Juan, south of Dana Point, and west to Laguna Niguel if you're riding with a light gravel or mountain bike. Overall, the ride itself accommodates any skill level due to its flat incline, short distance, and its ease to navigate, making it an ideal, leisurely trip to the beach and back that's mostly suited towards families and tourists. For all these reasons, this is why this bikeway lands at number seven on our list. Next up, the Peters Canyon Bikeway made it to the number six spot for a few great reasons. Its potential being number one, the path rides through a mixture of residential neighborhoods and a channeled water basin while connecting you to a range of other bikeways across multiple cities. With one of the best Metrolink Amtrak stations right along the path, it serves as the main entry point to every other major bikeway in Central OC. Getting in and out of here with your bike shouldn't be a concern. Metrolink and Amtrak trains will allow you to walk your bike directly onto a bike car for free with nothing more than your train ticket, which is a huge plus for cyclists. The bike path is currently being extended, and this year will reach eight miles of continuous riding from Central Irvine through Tustin to the Peters Canyon Regional Park via the West Irvine Trail, and will eventually become the longest sectioned route for the Mountains to Sea Bikeway, which starts in Newport Beach. Additionally, the south end of the path connects you with the extensive San Diego Creek Bikeway system. If you're riding with a mountain bike and reach the north end of this paved path, you can veer right and ride up through the Peters Canyon Regional Park on a dirt bike trail, providing riders an extra 2.5 miles through Peters Canyon and Tustin to the Irvine Regional Park, which is home to the OC Zoo and even more dirt trails heading north. Sometime in 2020, once fully extended, the Peters Canyon bike path will open up and become one of the premier bikeways in Orange County, rightfully claiming the number six spot on this list. Number five, the San Diego Creek Bikeway. Running alongside the creek basin that flows from the foothills of the Santa Ana Mountains acts as a spine for Irvine's 44 mile network of class one bike paths. The city of Irvine itself has an endless amount of safe biking options, 
Almost every street has a bike lane and bike paths are woven everywhere throughout the city. The San Diego Creek Bikeway seamlessly connects you to nearly all of them and it's the best path for commuting by bike throughout the city. Powering 9.5 miles through the heart of Irvine, this path provides 10 direct connections to other bike paths and Irvine's major destinations such as the Irvine Spectrum, Irvine Great Park, the University of California Irvine, UCI, Hogue Hospital Irvine, and more. It'll also provide connections to the neighboring cities of Tustin and Newport Beach via the Mountains to Sea Bikeway. Depending on how you ride, discovering every route in the city can take a person months, if not years, to complete. However, if you do live and work in Irvine, with the extremely good year-round weather, Irvine is the best place for bike paths, mobility, and bike commuting, and the San Diego Creek Bikeway should be your main starting point when commuting across the city. Number four, starting in Newport Beach, the Mountains to Sea Bikeway rides from the lower to upper basin of the Newport Back Bay, providing a backdrop unrivaled by anything else. This is Southern California's most picturesque bike path. Even just for a moment, this moderate four mile path melts away all the hustle and traffic of everyday life. Riding low within the safe and open valley of the Newport Back Bay, you will feel like you've left Orange County entirely. The Newport Back Bay is a protected estuary and one of the only ones left in California, certainly Orange County. Here you will quickly connect to nature inside one of the best birdwatching sites in the United States. After reaching the end of the Newport section, you can continue your ride out of the back bay and towards Irvine via the San Diego Creek Basin for a huge array of additional riding options. The right lane of this two-way bike path allows for one-way public motor vehicle traffic, but down here, bikes are king. The speed limit for cars is 15 miles per hour, and the road is mostly only used for service vehicles to maintain the back bay. The path is so secluded and out of the way from the typical Newport traffic that the road almost acts as a secret from everyone else. Let's keep it that way. Number three, welcome to beautiful Huntington Beach and Surf City, USA. This iconic path is likely what comes to mind when you think of Orange County or Southern California's surf, sand, and sun. The Huntington Beach bike path definitely doesn't disappoint its riders. The path runs directly along the sandy beach and stretches a huge 8.5 miles across the entire length of Huntington Beach while stopping just shy of the LA County border, clearly making it the best OC outlet to connect you to the Los Angeles network of bike paths when continuing north. The biggest drawback to this path if you're looking for a leisurely ride would be the extremely strong headwinds you may face. Because the path is so exposed, the coastal winds can at times almost halt your movement when riding directly into the wind. Also, around the Huntington Beach Pier, you will likely have to contend with heavy pedestrian traffic that may require you to walk your bike for a short while. However, this beach doesn't come anywhere close to being as busy as the tourist flooded beaches of LA County, such as Santa Monica or Venice Beach. Overall, this generally flat path is perfectly suited for a family day out. Here you will have wide access to bike rentals, food and drink options, plenty of open space, and it's just really hard to beat the relaxed coastal views of Huntington Beach. Number two, the Aliso Creek Bikeway. The Aliso Creek Bikeway is a stunning bike path woven between an extensive green belt of parks and a strong flowing creek. Nestled within the Aliso Creek watershed, this mostly secluded bike path is one of the absolute premier bike paths in the county and was voted as such in 2012 as part of America's national system of trails. This bike path is the second largest path in the county at a very long 13 miles. There are some limited mixed mode riding options where it could come in handy if you had a light gravel or mountain bike. One big thing to be aware of is that there's an approximate 1,000 foot elevation gain when riding south to north. That said, if you're up for the challenge, the beauty of the path is that it's very easy to navigate. With tunnels and bridges taking you away from the busy streets, you can start on the south end of this path in Aliso Viejo and travel all the way to the south entry of Santiago Canyon Road, with very few road crossings along the way, allowing you to keep your speed up and keep pace while riding alongside the flowing creek, wide open canyons, and 10 community parks. Come here to exit the city for a while to ride at a relaxing pace heading south downhill or challenge yourself riding north with moderate elevation gains along the Aliso Creek Bikeway. 
Quick note, before we reach number one, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please be sure to press the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to see all future releases like this one. You know the drill. It helps me out a lot and lets me know that you're enjoying the videos. Okay, let's get to number one. Number one, the Santa Ana River Bikeway. The SART for short is the crown jewel of Orange County biking and where you'll often see me. This path connects you all the way from the Pacific Ocean in Huntington Beach to the San Bernardino Mountains and back. The Orange County section of the path itself stretches a massive total of 29.5 continuous miles to the Orange County border. For anyone training, commuting, walking, running, or just leisurely riding, this is the bike path for you. Starting on the southern end, after dipping your wheel into the Pacific Ocean, you will ride under PCH and continue north on the man-made concrete Santa Ana Riverbed, eventually crisscrossing the concrete channel, dropping under the major streets heading from city to city. Once you begin approaching Catella Avenue, you will see the impressive Anaheim Arctic train station, which looks just stunning at night. You will also pass by the Major League Baseball Stadium for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. The team's Big A sits right along the fence line of the bikeway making it a great photo opportunity without having to actually leave the bike path. Just a little bit further north, you will pass right by the Honda Center, which is home to the NHL's Anaheim Ducks. Continuing even further north at the 14.5 mile mark, the SART will begin to roll through greenbelts, parks, and you'll notice an increase of water within the river itself. At this stage, be on the lookout for animals and wildlife in the area. Eventually, you will dead end at the border of Orange County in the picturesque Chino Hills neighborhood, where you can switch over to your mountain bike to explore the area's steep hills, or continue on your road bike to exit OC and enter Riverside County, north of the Green River Golf Club. This is a point where the currently in construction extension to the northern half of the SART is taking place. After completion of the entire stretch of bike path from Huntington Beach to the San Bernardino Mountains, the SART will provide close to 110 miles of continuous riding space for cyclists without any interruptions, cars, or hazards, becoming not just the premier bike path in Southern California, but across the United States. As a disclaimer, in 2017 and 2018, there was a persistent homeless population along this path in the Anaheim Santa Ana area that grew out of control, but as of July 2020, the path has been cleared, rerouted, and is much better maintained and guarded by local sheriffs to prevent that from happening again. To this day, it is free of all homeless camps and doesn't pose a threat to riders. That said, when riding anywhere, pay attention to your surroundings and use common sense. If something feels unsafe, it probably is. For now, these features, the landmarks, the expanded safety protocols, in the future expansion plans for the SART hit the mark in every way, putting the Santa Ana River Bikeway a step above every other path in Orange County as of 2020. Well, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my first top 10 list. If you did, please be sure to let me know in the comments below and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching everybody. And as always, ride on and ride safe.